Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now you may remember about uh, three months ago, end of May time, uh, I made a film with Austin Vince and uh, a young motorcycle adventurist, or would-be motorcycle adventurist, Ben King, who's about to embark on a round-the-world motorcycle trip on his Honda CRF. And uh, I'm really pleased to say that today is the day, it's the 13th of August, we're here at the Adventure Travel Film Festival at Mill Hill School, and I'm joined again by Ben, who's about to embark on that epic trip. So, massively exciting day for you today, Ben. How are you feeling? Gosh, I'm terrified. I'm half asleep, I just woke up 10 minutes ago. Um, I was supposed to get up at six to get everything ready and I've slept through my alarm. I oh, no problem, it's a lovely day for it. So that's quite... it. Exactly. But um, I think, yeah, the nerves have finally kicked in after two years of planning. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. So yeah, a mix it's, of it's nerves and excitement, I guess. Oh, definitely, 100%. Yeah, I'm sure cool. when I get on the on the road, it'll, hopefully it'll all ease off, but Brilliant. I think, yeah, two years of planning and just craziness building up to this moment Fantastic. is Fantastic. So since we last amazing. saw you back in May, yeah. uh, what else have you done by way of preparation? Anything in particular? I went actually down to Spain uh, yep. with Austin Vince and yep. about 10 other guys um, trail riding around the Pyrenees Fantastic. Um, just to try out all the gear yep. and try the bike and I'd never been off road in my life Right. and my first time was in the Pyrenees in the mountains Brilliant. just off the beaten track and it was absolutely incredible. Uh, I came off the bike 22 times. Oh my word. Uh, I had to go get an x-ray on my leg when I came back because right. it was yep. pretty messed up but yep. turns out everything's fine Yeah. Um, and it turns out I just bounced stuff off the ground on a shake down for the kit as well. But it was a great shakedown trip. Um, so I learned a lot and I ended up buying this yep. um, a top box and added a few extra things onto my bike. And so whatnot. just take us through what you've added extra to the box since we last saw it then. Yes, yeah, so I've got this uh, I've got a tank bag. Yep. So I can put a map or GPS yep. on there. Yep. I can store yep. my electricals in there as well. I've got a mount as well now behind here. Yeah. For my uh, for the phone. Yeah. For my phone uh, or GPS. Um, I've changed my mirrors to some RAM mounts so I can Yep. Move them in yep. if, I, if need yep. be. I yep. put a, uh, a screen on the front as well. Uh -huh. That's from Baja Works in the States, which is brilliant. That was cool. It'll yep. protect me a bit with my open face helmet. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got a top box to give you small top box in the back, just because I wanted a bit of lockable storage. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm going for the because I'm going for the hard yeah. panniers. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, and this is amazing. And weirdly, actually, this is got a little space in here as well it's not actually full fabulous and it's an amazing compact job this is the whole lot this is the whole round yeah. the world trip yeah this is it so ready to go. Is unbelievable unbelievable could be a few years of yeah great sort of stuff great living stuff. in here so just just remind us again of your of your basic plan your rough trip where what route are you taking how long is it going to take you uh so i head across to uh, south of england yep. over to france yeah down through the south of france into italy yep switzerland austria yeah, uh, Hungary, heading sort of down to Greece through Bosnia Herzegovina right. and, and those and those countries, Greece into Turkey, Turkey Iran, Pakistan, India, Nepal, wow. China, and then loop round into the stands. So sort of go back on myself to Uzbekistan to hopefully get another thirty day Russian visa. Yeah, then Kazakhstan, and then into Russia, this Mongolia. Is all, this is properly exciting stuff. By and this, this is when I get. And this is when I've got time. It's so it's not winter because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know minus forty seven degrees, which would be incredible. Uh, so I'm where not, do you intend to be at the sort of Pakistan type area then? I reckon in about sort of eight nine months possibly. Right. So right, I want to. Right. I don't want to rush through Europe. I want to take my yeah. time. But who yeah. knows if yeah. it yeah. if the weather changes and it's only winter hits. Who knows? Then I'll maybe go a bit faster sort of sure. to get south. Um, and then busy go through Siberia um, to Magadan, head down to Vladivostok. And then ship to South Korea, right. roll and roll a ferry to Japan, possibly then into China to then go to Hong Kong, because it seems to be cheaper to go from Hong Kong to the States than from Japan. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what I'll play that by ear. Over to the States, up to Alaska to Prudhoe Bay, the northernest wow. point. Yeah. And then all the way Lots back down. Lots of warm clothing, presumably. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the skinniest person. There's no fat on me, so I need to try and bulk up <laughs> if I can to get the bigger. And then from the States back to And then, yeah, so we're Alaska, Prudhoe Bay, all the way down, Canada, USA, Central America, yep. South America, um, down to Argentina. Right. Argentina to New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand to Australia, sort of Cairns, all the way around to Darwin, and then possibly Darwin to East Timor, Island Hop, wow. to Indonesia to Singapore, yeah. Yeah. Singapore to South Africa, uh, Cape Town, all the way up. Uh, back up the probably the, the west coast of, the, of Africa through Ghana, through Morocco, back into Europe. Unbelievable! Well, that is that is a properly epic trip, isn't it? And you're going to come back a changed man. I'm, I'm absolutely I hope sure. So. Yeah, no, amazing. Possibly even come up with a wife, or who knows? <laughs> well, well, that'd be amazing. So since we last spoke, um, I had a lot of people comment on the on the video that we did about how can they keep track of your progress. Yeah. So presumably you're all over social media and stuff, are you? Yeah. So as my name is Ben King, my trip's called The King on the Road. Yeah. Uh, so my website is www.thekingontheroad.com. Excellent. Uh, my Instagram is thekingontheroad. Yep. 
Uh, and my Facebook uh, is Ben King on the road. Brilliant. So presumably so you're uh, doing updates as you go. It's all there. Presumably if there's some uh, some access to the web, of course. Yeah. Excellent. Great stuff. Well, best of luck, Ben. I think it's Thank bloody so absolutely much. amazing. So uh, what, you think a couple of years, 18 months? How long are we talking? I reckon it could be four or five years. I reckon unbelievable. doing unbelievable. it. I don't want to rush myself. If I like no, somewhere, no, enjoy, then, enjoy. I'll, then I'll settle down. and Enjoy. Fantastic. And just enjoy it. So we'll be in touch and hopefully in four or five years' time, we'll be back here maybe and uh, you're going to regale awesome. us of some of your stories. Fantastic. Amazing. Brilliant. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to get out of Ben's way now because he's literally going to leave from here in a minute. Uh, I'm going to take some films as he goes. So bon voyage. Best Good luck, Ben. Thank you Great so stuff. much. Brilliant. Brilliant Good stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Got the schedule scheme. Sorry, I've lost my voice. Too much uh, singing along with 60s beat. <clears throat> I've had the pleasure of working with Ben over the last sort of eight months. I only, only found out about him eight months ago. He's only 21. He was 20 then. Uh, and it's so nice when somebody says, oh, I'm going to do this thing, and then in such a short time, they're actually doing it. Obviously, you might only get as far as um, uh, Chatham. <laughs> but at least, at least now, the pressure's really on. All these people have seen you. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a certain amount of pressure to actually go for it. The, the transit through Iran is going to be facilitated by uh, an Irish passport, courtesy of um, Ben's mum. Uh, well, I don't, she doesn't make fake passports. <laughs> <laughs> like, like my own mother, she's from the Emerald Isle, and so Ben and I have that in common. Instant access to Iran, as opposed to any British passport holders who are reaping the, reaping the rewards for having our government organise coups in other countries. <laughs> and um, so uh, that's going to be really exciting. It's a big deal. 21 years ago, I left from this spot with six mates on Monday Euro, and then another five years after that, Terra Circa left from here. So I'd like, I'd love to establish a, a culture yeah. of around the world motorcycle trip, 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 starting from this spot. That's obviously my bit of a big dream. <laughs> okay, everything ready? I think so. Got How do we gear. follow you? Sorry? How do we follow you? Get him out of the He's cut his cut his cut. He's got a cut. His Ben King is his name. And he's got a business card that says King on the Road. <laughs> so ben, shout out. What's your Facebook thing? Oh yeah. So my website is uh, thekingontheroad.com. My Instagram is the King on the Road, uh, and my Facebook is Ben King on the Road. We'll be back next year to talk about. I, I, I can't answer that. Uh, possibly in maybe four or five years, I hope they'll be back here. Four or five years? Yeah. Well, in that case, that route doesn't sound very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if the Coxless crew took three years. <laughs> of course you can do it in three years. <laughs> right, you have to come back a bit quicker than that, we might not exist. Right. <laughs> Ben's going to go that way, so can you clear a little path in the, in the style of a uh, Gordon right Green mass game? Right. He's going to give his phone back. Is this phone is this still rolling? Yeah. Okay, don't stall. <laughs> right. On the CRF 250, there is a fun bit of overlap. About now, Steph Jevons is uh, a young, uh, young girl from uh, Wales who's motorcycling around the world on this exact same model of bike. It's been a great friend to her. She's got 56,000 6, miles on it. And we think that she'll be back um, in time for next year. And she'll be the motorcycle speaker next year. And then maybe it'll fit nicely if you come back. You can be the one after that. Okay? And that's, and that's quite, quite without being planned by Honda or anything like that. We just keep this stream of of, uh, of little, fantastic little bikes, <coughs> and uh, and obviously, if anybody tells you you're on the bike, you know you know what which two words to use. Okay, right here we go, folks. You got the hat, got the gloves on. Here we go, key and ignition. Banana, <laughs> banana, banana pouch. <laughs> banana. Banana. Is there a little place for that? That works nice. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Keep it as a souvenir, and then to bring it back. You ready, mate? Start yeah. talking. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, so that's it. Young Ben is uh, finally on his way after all that planning. His trip's underway. He's going to come back a changed man. I can't wait to look forward to uh, hearing some of his stories when he gets back. So uh, that's it for now then uh, from beautiful Mill Hill and the Adventure Travel Film Festival. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Mr. Fly. Cheerio.